Yes. So I'm gonna do my video on um, hauntings, poltergeist. <laughs> yeah. So I've had a few experiences. Um, I've always believed in ghosts. Man, I used to have dreams when I was younger. Ghosts used to kind of freak me out, but I just learned to they don't bother me at all no more. So yeah. I have this street, um, I'm sleeping, well, I was with my, I was with my ex-girlfriend, like, just laying down in bed, and then, she's, well, I've just, um, we're just laying there, and I hear footsteps going down, down the stairs, and I just know there's no one in the house. You know what I mean? No one walked out any doors or anything like that. And I just heard footsteps go down the stairs. And that was it, I went back to sleep. And a few another time she said a bag was moving up and down, lifting, and I was like, hey, ain't looking at it, man, I can't be I ain't doing it. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it was up um near Belgrave House in Leicester, which is haunted as well. So that was the place. Um, one of the pubs haunted. That whole area is haunted to me, man. But, <laughs> yeah. So next experience, I was in hospital, and I'm lying down in the hospital bed, and there's no one else in this in the room at all. They've all gone out. Apart from, I thought there was one guy. This fat guy that used to sit on his bed eating food all day. He stocks up loads of food. He's sitting on his bed just munching out all day. So, <laughs> I thought he was in there munching. I thought he went off on one. I'm laying down there. I was like, I could hear things moving. Like, slamming about everything. And I was like, you know, what's he doing? And I just left it for about five minutes. And he just carried on for five minutes, like, just tearing up the place. And then I've opened my curtains, I've opened my curtains, I've laid down, and I'm like, what's going on, man? I can just hear, keep on hearing all these things moving about. I sit down, I was, like, and then I've, like, open, after I've opened the curtains, I've lied back down again, and I've seen, like, a spirit just move across the curtain into, into, there, into there. So, and, and I was just like, what the fuck was that? So I usually see lights, but this time I actually seen kind of a spirit as well with it. And then I've looked to the door, and there was a girl, like faded, <laughs> a young girl, like faded, like stood there looking through the window. I was like, shit. I just, this was like the first time I started seeing spirits, man. I was, it was a bit freaky for me. Um, but this is, I just did, dealt with it right there and then. I just stood up. I was like, what's this guy doing for a start behind this curtain? So I looked behind this curtain, opened this curtain a little bit, and there's things like floating about in there. It's like, there's things, all, all his stuff's on the floor, all over his bed, and there's like cups and that floating around in there. I was like, yeah, well, <laughs> went back, I was like, I'm getting the fuck out of this room, man. So I've stood up, and I've walked out, and as I've walked out, I've like looked to my right, and all the hospital nurses and the staff were like sitting on the uh, sitting like at the desk, like towels round them, like shivering. Like and I was like, "What are you lot doing down there?" And they're like, "Anton, come over here, Anton." I'm like, well, "What's up?" I look to my left, and there's a fucking there's a blind, there's a blind swinging from one of the rooms, the door to one of the rooms, yeah, it's a blind, quite long, going down to the window, I'd say it's, yeah, it don't matter anyway, but it was blind swinging, back and forth, and I could see, you know, like when you see heat waves, I could see heat waves behind it, like, and I just thought, pol that's poltergeist energy, yeah, that's what, I, that's what I see as poltergeist, spiritual energy anyway, but I think that's, Poltergeist energy when you see it like that. 
like I usually see that kind of energy running up the walls in my in, when I go to when I go into a spiritual astral zone. Um, similar to that, but yeah, seeing this energy behind it, and I'm like, yo, what? They're like, don't go, don't go over there. Come over here, come over here. I'm like, no, this, that's you. I was like, this is me. Watch this, and I was like, got, got my hand on the blind, yeah. I'm standing in front of it, and I'm like trying to feel its energy. Cause this is when I started doing chi, I started trying to feel that energy. Yeah? When I was moving my hand like back and forth as it was going, it was like moving real slow, like back and forth, like real slow, like. And I got my hand on this blind, and I was just like, yo. And I took my hand off it, and I like, just walked away. And then it stopped about a minute after that. That was that experience, haunting experience. And then when I moved into this place, I had some, I had things like moving about. I had things like just moved a couple of times, like in a different place, like that one there when it a minute ago. And then, like, I'd have my, cur my curtains move sometimes. I'd see my curtains move. I'd see a door start moving, sliding back and forth. Um, and I'd see the dots of energy as well. And I'd like hear things like rattling about and stuff. Um, I've heard knocking and stuff like that. Banging on the wall while I was lying on my bed and I was banging on my wall, back wall to the steps but I didn't hear no one going up the steps and then I started hearing things above me and my flat above me then the flat above me like the guy that was living there I could hear him like shouting panicking and there's things I can hear like things moving about in there like then he's like breathe I could hear how he's breathing it was like it was like sure the guy was fucking shitting himself man like I was a bit worried but I wasn't like that. I was glad I wasn't like that. Because like, I know his place was being haunted as well. And I could hear footsteps. I hear footsteps walking outside. And I'd look out the window. And, and I thought, because that sounded a bit spooky. And there was no one there walking by. And then I'd hear people, someone walk up the steps real slowly. My steps were right behind the wall so in my bedroom. So... Like I hear someone walking up the steps real, real slowly, like real spooky. And then it would walk down the corridor to my door and then it would stop. So I got up, I have ran to my door, opened the door, look, there's no one there. I've gone and looked down the stairs, there's no one there. Um, then I've laid back down again and then about half an hour later, them same, them same footsteps, spooky footsteps, like he was like walking down the corridor like down this like corridor anyway down this balcony um and then this time i had my fucking letterbox go twice <laughs> i've fucking shot i've shut up and i've gone to the door no one there looked out my window as well no one even about and i just knew it was a ghost man i could hear the guy upstairs still panicking as well <laughs> that happened a few times um and then that's kind of stopped. Uh, and then I had started having like spiritual dreams with these people in. And then things started getting better, man. Started feeling a bit better as well. Like happier, man. Better vibration, higher vibration. And these things didn't seem to bother me anymore. And like these the spirits just seemed to leave me alone. And I just started getting some dark spirits come into my dreams and stuff like that. So sometimes I see an image of them, but they'll never bother me anyway. Some of them would try and talk to me. Um, then I just started seeing angels and stuff like that, man. Yeah. So, what was all the hauntings of that? That's it. What I can think of, that's my haunting experience.
Right. <laughs> Alright, see you in a bit.